We're sitting here with the cast of Streets of a Zion right here in the studios. And of course, we got the director, Gabriel Duran, the star of the film, uh, Mike Marshall. We also got uh, one of the additional actors, Microphone Killer, in here. We also have the editor. You! And, um, and uh, we're talking a little bit off the air, and he was saying, you know, this is, uh, you know, they got kind of real on this, on this. Y'all got kind of real, you know, it's believable. It's not nothing that's. Yeah, definitely. Um, it, it was uh, stuff that, like, we had a scene or uh, I can't I won't give away the movie, but there's a certain place that we went into to West Dallas that, you know, they were actually, you know, doing things. So it's like, you know, shoot around what we're doing, and it's cool, you know. Uh, just as long as you don't get in our business, we're good. So we went out there with the camera crew, and we went out and we did our thing, you know. In the middle of the night, you know, what, 1 o'clock in the morning, yeah. in the streets, yeah. running around with the camera. So it was real. It wasn't like a setup where we had everybody was an actor. Nah, what you saw in there was real people. Yeah, real so people. real actors, and it wasn't too much, uh, too not, not a lot of props. It was real, like a real no, there was movie, like real acting and real... It was like, it was grab a camera and, and run with it. There was no there was no let's, let's set up a light here, let's put a light there, none no lights. Put it this way, uh, the gun props were real guns with no clips in them. That's how that's how real it was. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's it pretty neat. I mean, yeah, no props, man. To, to for us to be on set and, and doing a, a lot of this filmmaking because we knew what was going on in the process, and then I brought on our editor here, uh, Outlaw, who uh, kind of like had fresh eyes for the whole thing. You know, he's never he wasn't on set with a shooting and stuff, but. He saw the film in, in its entirety, man. He, we worked on it for a year, piecing it together and putting the story together. And it was a process that, that took forever, man. It took a lot of love of, of us to learn on the way to where we're at now. And we all learned from this film, and we all did. My cameraman, to me, to some of the actors, um, we learned a lot. And, and that's great. I mean, that's what, what you're supposed to take out of the film and be able to grow. And uh, like you said, uh, you said that uh, the director, he, he took spent over a 1,000 man hours editing the editing, movie. Yeah. And, yeah, that was... Uh, yeah. Coming from uh, doing videos, that's what I usually do, to doing movies, I was actually glad for the opportunity when he asked me. And uh, I tell you what, it, it, it's a real experience. It's totally, completely different than coming to shoot a music video and then editing on a, a actual feature film. It is a complete different um, experience. That's great. That's great. And uh, so the movie's coming out this Thursday and it's going to be touring um, Film festivals across the country. After that, so uh, definitely you know keep up with them on uh, on social media. You know you can always follow the Microphone Killers page. And um, I don't know if, if any of you guys have pages. Um, yeah, you can uh, either follow me. My name is Mike Marshall on Facebook. Um, you can look up the director Gable Duran, uh, Django Outlaw. That is Django Outlaw. Uh, New World IBM Studios Facebook page. And so definitely we'll be on. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm proud to see you guys uh, making a film out of uh, Dallas, out of the streets of Dallas, and uh, taking it across the country, man, hopefully across the world, yeah, man. and uh, giving some exposures to, uh, we do have talent here in Dallas, and uh, we have the, the opportunity to do films as well. It was a, it was a, like, a, this microphone killer, it was, a, it was a good experience, man, it was, it was a raw, raw footage, man, you know, it. It was it was it was hard, man. It was a struggle, man. It was a struggle too, man, because I had lost a brother too, and I kind of left the movie for a little bit and then came back. So, yeah. you know, so we put a lot of work, you know, we put a lot of work and effort, and we're really showing how Dallas is, you know, with the with the Mexicanos and, and, and you know and the, and, the, and everybody else, man. It's it, it was a good experience, man. And that's, and that's good, man. I'm proud of you guys, and uh, so definitely it's coming out this Thursday. And uh, anything else that you don't you know want to. Yeah, what type of genre is the movie? What would you consider? It's considered. It's, it's considered just drama. It's it's a drama movie. It's more like, okay, it's like Boys in the Hood type of movie. It's it's basically the same thing. Like there's a, it's it's a hood movie with a message. It's not just guns and, and, and drugs. It's it's not about that. It's it's more about like people you know living Everyday together life. and coaxing. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what it's about. Like I said, it's it's more like Boys in the Hood type of genre. Like in Boys in the Hood, you had a message at the end. It's the same thing with this film. There's a message at the end. You know. It's not just, I said, it's not about guns or promoting any violence or anything like that. It's not it's about, about waking up situations that go on in, in, Detroit. in, 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 in real life. Yeah. You know, real, real life situations that, that, you know, could happen. And uh, so definitely uh, congratulations on you guys on the, the brand new movie, Streets of a Zion. And uh, just be on the lookout for another movie produced right here in Dallas, Texas. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I thought you had some. Oh, no, no. Um, well, we'll probably be being on Channel 8, uh, I think, Thursday. So if you want to check us out for that, doing that, too. Be on the lookout for them. You know, congratulations once again. And uh, look out for the movie, Streets of the Zion.
Of course, directed by uh, Gabriel Duran, starring uh, Mike Marshall, and Michael Film Killer is going to be in there as well. And uh, of course, edited by Dallas Django Outlaw. Dallas Django Outlaw. Yo. <laughs> you know, once again, Let's congrats. Go.